two. Death. The tower. Oh my, I always forget this one. The, the tower and the devil. Oof, you guys have been getting the devil for some, some time now. So you have out with the old, in with the new. Heaven is showing you a sign that it's time to move in a new direction. Often this is because you're not happy and feel a lack of purpose in your life. This is a wake-up call to make changes that match your heart's desires, spiritual truths, and chosen freedom. In this case, the in this case, the devil's chosen freedom, right? We want to choose our freedom. So sometimes you may feel as though your way is blocked, but often that's just an illusion. You could free yourself from the ob obstacles that you, you're so focused on by choosing a different path. Turn your thoughts away from negativity and instead envision endless other possibilities you might act on. So definitely a releasing. And you know what? I've been picking that up for, for you, Gemini's, for some time. So that whatever you guys know what your devil energy is, you know, it's it's been a, a very long road for some of you in, in bringing that change into your life. So um, let's see where your soul's transition are. But it doesn't matter. I feel a lot of inspiration is being ignited in you. And you're being patient with the process. Beautiful. Give me one more. Wow. Air signs are really in a good place. You know, aqua was also very great energy. Um, let's see what else. Anything else for my soul's transition spirit? I'll give it one more shuffle. There we go. Oh, thank you, spirit. Oh, yes. We've got first card dreams. You're encouraged to keep a dream journal to decipher messages spirit is conveying to you. So a lot of messages coming in, but a new life. Yeah, your life as you know it looks differently than before or soon will. And then live your soul's purpose. This There is a greater purpose for you in this lifetime and you are encouraged to embrace it. Remember, in all you do, demonstrates love and compassion. So you've got a lot of dreams. Um, your life is about to be different for sure um, because things are changing. You're, you're finding a new, there's a, uh, a new inspiration being ignited or has been ignited in you. And as long as you stay committed, to the process you things are going to turn around so let's see what you have to allow gemini i allow myself to see others for who they are yes bye bye devils uh, you've been needing to do this for some time so out with the old and with the new see people for who they are you know it's time to really clean house i really feel they are blockages um in your life gemini what does Gemini need to surrender for the month of February? I mean, seriously, surrender to your passion. This is like spirit is screaming, commit, commit, commit. Like keep going, keep, keep going, Gemini. Get out of your head and feel the fire in your belly. Focus on the people or activities that ignite your passion and let it flow. Yeah, it's time to shift that energy and focus on you. This is very strong message about your inspiration and your manifestation and your commitment to it. So really um, embrace that energy of desire and let it grow or continue, you know, and, and and get focused. I really feel a need to just stay focused on you in these manifestations and just work on yourself only. A really big commitment. You're going to be spending a lot more time alone than anything. Oh my God, look at all these pentacles. Sacral chakra, which is the inspiration. I always associate this with Leo energy, the sun, ace of wands, and um, the strength card. We've got eight of pentacles, which is positive movement forward in this deck, but this is eight of pentacles, working hard. So commit to your passions, your creativity. This is like it. you're being ignited, firm foundation. This is about your stability. You know, you care about the stability. And five of pentacles more about finances, financial and material changes. So you're undergoing changes, um, obviously, to embark in anything new for those who are embarking in something. Obviously, it takes money to 
so you might have to spend some in order to really start now obviously wise decisions around that we don't want to lose our stability but i feel there's also just some fear around it fear around it so sacral chakra spirit came around the sacral chakra of course the page of pentacles and this is a commitment and justice page of pentacles with justice this is about really finding balance in the steps that are required um we've got page of pentacles again so confirming twice what our passions need to be so let yourself be ignited again find that desire this is about financial opportunity a solid beginning and you're initiating a new process for yourself and all will be fair you know with this justice came on this positive movement forward it will be trying but never easy and nothing is easy right six of wands yeah triumphing recognizing your own passions give me more of this eight of pentacles you will get recognition there's a lot of recognition and five of swords and that's the releasing um, I'm also getting that there was a commitment with the Knight of Pentacles. So this is going to be slow moving. I want to clarify this Five of Swords. What is Five of Swords? Ten of Wands. And that Emperor Energy Death. So this isn't going to be easy. There's going to be one a loss. Maybe some of you have trusted people you can't in this transition. Either they've taken money from you or just kind of um, not supportive. Some of you, it's just a, not a support system. So I think this is a matter of recognizing it and persevering with the Six of Wands. Continue, even though how burdensome it may be. Don't, again, you're releasing. So 10, 10, 10, lots of cycles ending here because you're moving to a new life. And so as we move and shift energetically, so will everything around us. And then normally there's a period of it being hard before it gets better. So give me more of this firm foundation. Five of Pentacles again. Yeah, um, losing money, I feel... Also, uh, two of wands needing to make a decision. Fears of of not being recognized. You know, know your star quality, Hierophant. You've got to trust this journey. Trust it. Give me one of the Pentacles. Yeah, <laughs> King of Swords. I think this is just and the Sun. I think this is just a fear of showcasing what you have and people not liking it or um, it's like, you know, I hate using the word fear, but it's almost like bringing your work out and it being criticized and not being people not seeing not people not being as excited about it as you are and so it can cause some um resistance to wanting to showcase two of wands you just need to you need to make a decision understand that what you bring to the table the star understand that what you're doing is actually um going to be enjoyed Give me more of the sun. The sun here. Yeah. Nine of Pentacles. Know your worth. Know, know your worth and take that leap full, Gemini. It, you're, you're bringing in something that... You bring in something that other people don't have. And, and we have to remember, we have... Everyone has their own uniqueness. So let me get more on this Five of Pentacles, which we know now. This is really the resistance to, yeah, Page of Cups. Like, these are your dreams. These are your passions. These are the things that excite you emotionally. And maybe someone not being as excited. Can we more on this Five of Pentacles? Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, you're working hard. Um, and Two of Cups. You know, being recognized, I feel um, that other people won't be in alignment with it 
Ten of Swords. For some of you, it's that devil energy. So not having real support system. So that's why Spirit is saying, again, ten, ten, tens. Out with the old and with the new. So you've got to clear things that are not supportive in your you moving forward with your dreams. Or that kind of hinder your... Who, who try to really take away or kill your joy or your inspiration through the things they say or their lack of belief systems, you know. So definitely be mindful of that um, this month. But you're going to a new life, so stay focused, Gemini. What is the abundance message for Gemini, please? Several vows of poverty. Yes, dear one, there's no need to suffer or sacrifice. And like I said, some of you, it's the financial. So the more, it, it, might be, it might cost you. It may have already cost you. But hold the intention of undoing any vows of poverty or self-denial that you may have made, consciously or unconsciously, in an, any lifetime. As you do so, all effects of those vows will be undone for everyone involved in all the directions of time so again sever your vows for poverty believe that you can succeed and that you're going to move forward i mean that's it's, that's a that's a difficult for one for a lot of us especially when we come from very when we come from very difficult backgrounds you know so let's see what your guidance is Gemini. Yeah, beautiful. New beginnings. Right? The bells are ringing out for a new start in life. A new beginning is just at the horizon. Don't fear it. Embrace it and go with it. Exactly. New life. I mean, every, live your soul's purpose, your dreams. I mean, Gemini. Everything is screaming new life here. You're you're good. You are going. Keep manifesting. Don't let anyone get in your way. Let me get you one more guidance. Um, don't, okay, spirit, don't let anything get in your way and just move. We've got the stars. Yeah. Some nights I look up at the stars and feel small, but never lonely. You're never alone. There's a support system and protection helping you move through this and onward. No need to overthink. Move forward with a decision. So keep moving. Just keep going. Keep going. Um, because this is a new beginning. This is here for you. So claim this reading, Gemini. Um, and enjoy and bask in the energy. Okay, so I love you. Please like, share, subscribe.